So, with the On Your Side forecast. That Google Voice thing, can it creep anybody else out? I don't know, too realistic for me, right? All right, let's talk about your weather, shall we? This shouldn't creep anybody out. This should just make everybody happy. Look at our current conditions. It is 61 degrees right now at the Boise Airport. Winds are calm. We're getting first light right now. That sunrise is at uh, 627 this morning, and we should have another nice view of the sunrise. A little bit cloudier this morning than we've been. You can see some of those clouds drifting through. That on the heels of some storms and some showers that rolled through over overnight. Weezer, you probably picked up a couple of showers. The Long Valley saw some lightning strikes, maybe heard a couple of rumbles of thunder. And then we also have to talk about this flood advisory that's in place right now for the Big Wood River at Haley due to those rising waters because of snow melt. Now we're not expecting it to get all the way to flood stage in the next couple of days, but we're keeping an eye on it because of course waters will continue to rise as temperatures stay warm. Though today we do start a cooling trend across the region, so that's the good news. Some of that snow melt will slow down, but still we have some unbelievably warm weather ahead of us or unbelievably cool, uh, much cooler weather ahead of us. Warm weather is now behind us. At least the heat for now is over and done with. So here's the culprit behind what we're seeing right now. The general instability that fired off those storms overnight. It is going to be a very slow mover. This thing's just going to kind of inch its way across the Pacific Northwest. As it does, it will just kind of keep generally unsettled conditions ahead for us all the way through the weekend just about it fully exits really or starts to anyway by Mother's Day. So early next week we see things improve, but our coolest day of the extended period will be Friday, but we keep spotty showers and storms in the forecast, mostly for the mountains. It'll mostly be our northern terrain, kind of the higher elevations that will see the most unsettled activity, but it's not out of the question that down here in the valleys as well, both Treasure and Magic Valleys, we could pick up a couple of stray showers and storms. Now look at our warmth. So we hit the mid 80s yesterday, 79 degrees today. Salt Lake City is still very hot at 86. Look at poor Phoenix. They can't catch a break. That high pressure for us, it'll be suppressed by the storm that's coming in, the system that's coming in, but not the case for areas to our south. Even tomorrow as we dip down to 71, you can see the cooler air invading the west. Look at the southwest 105 for Phoenix, even hotter tomorrow as that high pressure continues to build in and boost their temperatures. So just unbelievable warmth for them today, though we get a break. If you love the mid to upper 70s, this is your day. 79 in Ontario, 76 in Caldwell, a little breezy from time to time out in Boise, still 79 there and 78 for CUNA with clouds on the increase as the day goes on, but really not a bad day at all. Very comfortable temperatures overall. Cooler up in Idaho City, 74 degrees there. We'll see the low to mid. 60s from a call Donnelly and Cascade with some isolated storms firing off from time to time today. So not the prettiest looking day up in the mountains, but still comfortable temperatures. 71 tomorrow. There's our cool day on Friday, 63 degrees. We stay about the same on Saturday with scattered showers, but then we dry up a little and warm up as well for Mother's Day.